Hello, my dear students. Good morning. How are you all? Okay, we have started with a lesson motion and the time. Yes or no? We have discussed a uh, different things in the motion and time. First, we have started the motion and the types of motion. We have discussed what is meant by the motion and what is meant by the rays. Then we have discussed about the types of motion. Then we have discussed about the what is meant by the speed, velocity, acceleration. Am I right? Then we have discussed about the distance time graph. Related to speed, also we have learned about the two types of the device which are there on the vehicle. That is, if we want to calculate the speed, we use the instrument that is called as a speedometer. And if we want to calculate the uh, distance, that we use the instrument that is called as a odometer. Am I right? So today we are going to discuss about the time. So just can you tell me what is meant by the time? Time is nothing but the interval between two events. What is meant by the time? Interval between two events. So now if you will, if now see in the olden days the there was no clock or there was um, there was there was no calendar. Am I right? So how do the people okay, how do the people come to know the exactly the time? How do the people determine the time? Can you guess? Yes, people used to determine the time by watching the shadow. By seeing the shadow, they used to determine the time. Now the anastators, what they have decided, they have experienced this all this thing. The what what they experience, what they have observed, they have observed that there is an everyday sunrise and sunset. Am I right? Then there is a new moon day, and after that it is followed. After full moon day again, there is a new moon day. The cycle is repeated. Am I right? So according to that. According to that the time, they have classified into day, month, and year. Now, day, how do, how does a day they have calculated according to the sunset and sunrise? Am I right? And month were calculated, were determined by the moon, new moon to full moon. Then again, full moon to new moon. Are you getting? Then year according to the revolution of the earth. Now, this time they will determine for the longer period, for the longer duration. If the duration is short, then how the time is calculated? Can you guess? Yes, by the clock. But related to the clock, related to this time, the clock, there is a concept or to determine the time, we use the concept of simple Pendulum. We use the concept that is simple pendulum. Now, what is exactly the simple pendulum? Can you guess? Okay, just I will tell you what is the simple pendulum. For this, there is a rigid rod which is connected to the metallic ball. Ball. This is called as a ball. A rigid to a rigid support, a thread is attached to that and to the metallic ball, this ball is called as a ball. This ball is called as a ball. This when the time is totally depend on this concept of simple pendulum. Are you getting this? So when it is at a middle, then this middle point we say it is at a mean position. This position is called as a mean position. Are you getting? Now you know the when you will move from the pendulum, when you will move from a point, the from its extreme position, there will be the two extreme position. When it will suppose this will be the A and this will be a B. Are you getting? This is A and this is B. So, when you will start the pendulum, it will move from A to B and again B to A. Means if you will see, it will move from like this, from starting from like this to this side, then again. Now, can you tell me, can you just guess 
which type of the motion is this moving to and fro and fro and fro which type of the motion yes it is nothing but oscillatory motion it is nothing but a oscillatory motion the when pendulum moves from to and fro that motion is called as a oscillatory motion now see the time now the anastotus what is they have observed the time these things are the morning and evening the next day morning and evening the months they are occurring after a equal interval of time am i right they are occurring after a equal interval of time it means it is a periodic motion it is nothing but a periodic motion so according to that they have classified the time into month day and year are you getting this so simple pendulum is also moving from one point to the another point and again it comes to the original point so that motion is called as a oscillatory motion that motion is called as a oscillatory motion now in this when a bob is moving when of this bob is moving from here to here and here to here these two points are called as extreme these two points are called as an extreme position means it moves to that particular maximum position it moves to the point b and here this side left side it moves to the maximum to the point a so as it moves to and fro that motion is called as a oscillatory motion now the next concept related to this now when it is completing its oscillation it requires some time am i right when it moving from to and fro and coming back to the particular point that motion uh, it required some time so that time is called as a time period that time is called as a time period now how you can define the time period time taken to complete one oscillation time taken to complete one oscillation is called as a time period is called as a time period now this all this time is really totally depends on the simple pendulum am i right now what will be the si unit of time can you just tell me what will be its si unit si how will you tell the what will be the si unit of time yes si unit that is standard unit of time is nothing but a second or we calculate with a small s or we denote this by the small s are you getting this so si unit that is standard international unit uh, standard unit of the time is second so time is calculated by this concept of simple pendulum are you getting have you understood what is in by the simple pendulum simple pendulum consists of a rigid rod uh, which is tied with a metallic ball that is called as a ball bob which is at the mean position when it moves to and fro it consists of the oscillatory motion and time taken to complete the uh, one oscillation is called as a time period okay now we have completed the concept of the time period and the concept of how to measure the time am i right so we have completed this lesson uh to in the next video or the in the next period we are going to solve the exercise okay thank you everyone